Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll show you how to fix the Apple ID not yet used in iTunes Store error. As an iPhone user, you can benefit from iTunes Store to easily purchase, download, and stream various media content including music, movies, apps, books, podcasts, etc. However, you may occasionally see a prompt that says this Apple ID has not yet been used in the iTunes store while intending to download music or program. It's weird, but it's probably not a big deal. Keep watching to learn what it is, the causes and easy fixes you can attempt. What does this Apple ID has not yet been used in the iTunes store mean? In general, this alert means that the current Apple ID linked to your iPhone has never been used to make a purchase or download something in the iTunes store or app store. This usually will occur when you're helping parents or friends to set up a new iPhone or setting up a new Apple ID on your own phone. The message, this Apple ID has not yet been used in the iTunes store, often appears with the review option. This offers you the quick fix to get rid of this message. Why does an iPhone say this Apple ID has not yet been used in the iTunes store? The common reason is that you haven't completed the required information after setting up a new Apple ID. For example, Accept terms and conditions, add payment details and shipping address, and verify the email address. If you're not using a new Apple ID, then there might be a sudden system error. It leads to this Apple ID has not yet been used in the iTunes Store message and stops you from using iTunes Store or App Store. Now, follow me to walk through how to fix the Apple ID not yet used in iTunes Store error. They work for all iPhone models running from older iOS versions like iOS 12 to later iOS versions like iOS 18. Besides, if you have any questions, write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. Click review to accept terms and conditions. When you get the message this Apple ID has not yet been used in the iTunes store on your iPhone, it often gives you review and cancel options. To bypass this error, tap the review option. It'll bring you to the Terms and Conditions page. Just scroll down to read through all the terms and conditions and accept them in the end. If you see a blank page after clicking the review option, try doing that through a browser. Visit https colon slash slash music.apple.com. Sign in with your iPhone's current Apple ID and password. Then walk through the given terms and conditions and click accept. Once done, go back to the iTunes Store or App Store and download what you need. You won't see the alert this Apple ID has not yet been used in the iTunes store anymore. Fill in the payment details and shipping address. If the message, this Apple ID has not yet been used in the iTunes store, still appears, the next step is to complete the billing and shipping information. They are also the necessary content for the initial setup process for a new Apple ID. To do that, open the settings app. At the top of the screen, choose your name. Find and tap media and purchase. If asked, enter your Apple ID and password correctly. Enter a credit card or other valid methods of payment and shipping address if the field is empty. If you don't plan on making purchases, just select None under the Billing Methods tab. Tap Review, review the information and choose Accept. You can also visit the https colon slash slash .com slash to complete the details in the Payment and Shipping section. Now, the error message, this Apple ID has not yet been used in the iTunes store, should disappear and you can just download whatever you want. Make sure the email address is verified. After setting up a new Apple ID, verifying the email address makes sense to activate the account. If you've not done that, go to https colon slash slash .apple slash. Sign in with your iPhone's current Apple ID and password. Once entered, navigate to the account settings or security part. Then, Check out the email verification status. If not, follow the on-screen steps to verify. It'll send a verification link to the email address, where you just simply click it to complete. Once you do that you will be able to download apps, music, and so on. Sign out the Apple account then sign in on your iPhone. Now, you've filled out all the required information to activate an Apple ID to use in iTunes Store or App Store. If you're still getting this Apple ID has not been used in the iTunes Store or on the screen, there might be a conflict for the system settings. The solution is to sign out of the Apple ID first then sign back in. To do that, go to settings. Tap your name. From the bottom, choose sign out and enter Apple ID password if asked. Wait for a few minutes and enter your Apple ID and password correctly to sign in. 
This step helps to refresh the login status on iTunes Store. That way, it'll recognize your Apple ID again and the this Apple ID has not yet been used in the iTunes Store problem will be resolved. Sign in the same Apple ID on another iDevice. Sometimes, maybe the fault is at your iPhone itself, not the iTunes Store or Apple ID account. So, try to sign in the same Apple ID on another Apple device like iPhone, iPad, or Mac. Then, fill out the required information if needed. Once completed, go to the iTunes Store, find what you need, and download the item. If the download is successful with no this Apple ID has not yet been used in the iTunes Store message popping up, it means the previous iPhone has problems. You can try to do a restart, upgrade the iOS, or bring the device back to its factory settings to fix any software-related problems. Contact online support or visit the store. Nothing works and iPhone screen still says, this Apple ID has not yet been used in the iTunes store. Tap review to sign in. Time to seek professional help from the official support center. They will help you rule out if the issue is caused by a software glitch or hardware malfunction. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to fix the this Apple ID has not been used in the iTunes store error. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video is helpful for you. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.